Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Hi, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and this is the Legacy Generation 2 Laser Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. But he's missing that Generation 2 look, that colorfulness that the original toy had. Hey, Bert! <laughs> Hey, Patriot Prime, where did you come from? It's the internet, man. Anything's possible. Here, put these ToyHacks.com decals on your Laser Optimus Prime. I think you'll get that G2 look that you're looking for. Whoa, dude, you gotta show me how you do that. All right, awesome. Let me put these on and uh, let me get right back with you. A few moments later... Holy crap, Laser Prime now looks amazing. He looks just like the original toy. Thanks to Toy Hacks and thanks to you, Patriot Prime. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And don't forget, tell them Patriot Prime sent you. The feature bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Studio Series 86 Leader Class Sludge. Now, Sludge here was an early arrival from Amazon.com just in time for my birthday. Yes, today is my birthday. I am 49 years old and I still play with Transformers. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Never grow up. So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. We've got Sludge right there in dino mode, taking on the Sharktacons. And I love that artwork. That is so cool. Transformers, Studio Series 86, Transformers the movie, Dinobot Sludge. Side of the box, a up-close shot of that same picture. Back of the packaging, we've got Sludge in robot mode, dinosaur mode. And right here shows that you can use the insert as a backdrop for your display. This side, we've got an even closer view of that artwork, Studio Series 86. So now, without further ado, let's get my birthday gift all opened up and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Sludge all opened up and now the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. But man, I hate these instructions that just stretch out so long. I prefer the more booklet style. He also comes with his gun that is molded to look pretty much like his G1 toy gun, even with the little launching mechanism up here on top. And I love that, especially the paint applications. That looks so good. And then of course you got Sludge himself. And man, let me tell you, this is a big Transformers figure. Just like the other Studio Series 86 Dinobot, this is what I want with a leader class figure. A big, bulky, massive toy. And he looks awesome, just like he did in the 1986 movie. Great head sculpt great paint applications. I mean, that, that sludge right there. He's got that perfect sludge uh, face. <laughs> I love it. Paint applications. He's got a silver crest, silver face, and blue eyes. You got the Autobot insignia right there. And this little section right here also looks like the Generation 1 toy Diaclone Pilot canopy. 
but this does not open, so don't try to force it. Let me show you real quick, gonna kind of halfway transform him. It is screwed in. So I guess if you wanna unscrew it and take it apart, you can do that, but don't try to force that open. He doesn't really have a lot of paint applications, some dark gray down here on the legs, some gold feet, and really that's about it. But man, the sculpted detail on this figure is awesome. And one of the things I am happy to report with my sludge, I've been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook that he has really loose hips and knees, but mine, you got a soft ratchet, bring those hips up to a nice sitting position, and yeah, he's golden. And as you see, the knees are not floppy as well. I don't know if you can hear that. Soft ratchets for the knees, soft ratchets for the hips. So I really lucked out with mine. Hopefully you will luck out with yours as well. Now, as far as the rest of you, the articulation goes, the head is on a little hinge right here, so he can look up, but I believe the head itself is attached to a mushroom peg. It only rotates. It doesn't have any wiggle waggle whatsoever. So you got the hinge and 360 rotation. The arms here can go out, they can go in, they can do a complete 360 as well. And as you can hear, ratchets also in the shoulder joint, but if you try to do the 360, it is gonna hit the wings here on the back. There is a bicep rotation, a nice deep bicep bend, wrist rotation, waist rotation, and of course you already saw the hips, legs out, legs in, big deep knee bend, and ankle tilt. So he's got lots of articulation, and I love the fact that mine is nice and tight. I was really worried seeing some other posts on Facebook. You can take the blaster, put that in his hand as such, and there you've got Sludge all armed and ready for battle. Now I do wish he would at least have come with his sword since he didn't come with a crappy little extra figure like Grimlock and Slag, but it is what it is and I'm sure some company, and I think some already have, will make a sword for him. So that's pretty much it for robot mode. I did want to show you the back of the figure real quick. He's got the big wings, just like the G1 figure and the dinosaur head along the back. And he cleans up really good. There's no hollow bits, no waffling till you get down here to the feet. So a really, damn big old truck went by. So a really nice looking robot mode. So now let's get Sludge transformed into his dinosaur mode. And I love this transformation. Go ahead and pop the weapon out of his hand and you want to rotate the fists around to where they're facing up like so. And then you're going to fold those back inside his wrist. Do the same with the other side here. And now you're going to rotate at the bicep a 180. Do this for the other side. And just go ahead and rotate at the waist of 180 as well. Now you're gonna take the chest right here, as I showed earlier, pull this down, kind of get the legs out of the way, fold the head into the chest, and then bring the dinosaur head up. You've got some tabs right here. Go ahead and tab that in. So you've got that going on. Take the chest section, rotate it around like so. So you've got <laughs> that mess. You're gonna take the wings from the back, bring these up, and you got the front dinosaur legs here. Just bring these out and they're gonna tab in right there. So go ahead and bring that down, tab in. You actually hear it pop into place. So there's the front of the dino. Go ahead and bring the legs together so you can take this chest section, fold the chest section down like so, and then just bring the wings up and over forming the dinosaur body. They kind of collapse back in on themselves. Now for the legs and the tail section, this is wild. I love this transformation here. You're gonna go ahead and move the tail sections here out of the way. I'm confused, where is the, okay, here at the top. This is a big figure to mess with. 
you're going to unpeg this section here from the leg and unfold and bring this out. So the legs just explode. Do this again on this leg, right above the gold toe here. Bring this out, fold that out, and bring that over. So you've got a heck of a mess down here. So now you're gonna collapse the legs in and fold the toes down here toward the body. Always easier said than done when you're doing it on camera. Now, once you get the legs folded up in under like that, go ahead and peg them together. You can see the pegs right here in the center. Get those pegged together there. Now, once you get that all tabbed together right there, you got the toes folded down like so. Bring the tail, little tail tip section around, peg those together bring these up and over so the gold section here is going to cover up the chest piece get those squeezed together get the top half squeezed together get this all cleaned up and the toes or these gold section here is going to tab in here get this tab together get them all cleaned up you also want to make sure that the little tabs right here go in behind this section. The little holes and pegs will line up. Get your thumbnail in. Get those popped in. Chest popped together. Get this little gold section. I have transformed this guy so many times and on camera, nothing is freaking working. And now once you have everything tabbed in, there you have sludge in his dyno mode and I wish that this section here would tab in a little bit tighter but doesn't look bad at all big old chunky tail right there love how the paint applications work with sludge you've got the gold here for the dinosaur head and part of the neck then you've got the gray into silver into gold with the red down to the gray black and then silver again for the tip of the tail he looks great and so much like his Generation 1 toy counterpart. As you can see right here. It's been a long time since I've transformed my original sludge figure. I do wish the tail could have been a little bit longer, but you know, it is what it is. He's got his Autobot logo right there on the head. Got the blue eyes. The mouth can open and close. And if you look inside, there is a blast effect port to which you can take a blast effect and attach there on the inside. Only certain ones are going to fit, but now you can have him opening fire out of his mouth just like it was shown on his package art. So yeah, I love the dino mode. It looks so cool. Big and beefy. It does have a big gap right there though, but you don't really see it. Now one of the things that it strikes me funny, it may just be me, is the two gold sections right there. Looks like he's pretty well endowed. He's got some dino nuts, if you will. So you can take his blaster right here and he's got these two pegs on the side and these will match up to these little slots right there above his dino nuts. Just plug that in and I've got weapon storage. So now let's bring in one of his fellow Studio Series Dinobots so we can take a look at them together in dino mode. So here he is, Studio Series Grimlock. And yes, they look great together. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 86 Sludge in dino mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Sludge with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Sludge, Power of the Primes Sludge, Studio Series 86 Slag, and Studio Series 86 Grimlock. Transformers Studio Series 86 Sludge is another fantastic Studio Series Dinobot edition. I love this figure, he's big, He's beefy, 
He's got loads of articulation and a very fun transformation, except when you're doing it on camera. And I love this guy. He was a very highly anticipated figure and man, was he worth the wait. So now we just need Studio Series 86 to hurry up and release Swoop and Snarl. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 86 Sludge. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 86 Dinobot Sludge belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. I love all of the Studio Series 86 Dinobots. They are big, beefy, and just so much fun to play with, and they look so good, both in robot mode and dinosaur mode. My only real complaint with Sludge right here is I wish he at least came with his sword, since he didn't come with a little extra crappy figure, they could have gave us the sword instead. But all in all, this is still a great figure. He cleans up so good, great articulation. He, he's just awesome. So yeah, you see a Sludge on this shelf, pick him up, you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have this new Super Thanks button. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!